Catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of August 1st. 18 neighborhood groups in San Antonio's urban core have banded together to form the Tier 1 Neighborhood Coalition to protect their community plans from both city processes and developers. The new alliance is flexing its muscles at a crucial time, just as SA Tomorrow, the city's long-range comprehensive plan, heads to city council. Coalition members criticize the plan and the process that created it. A delegation met this week with Mayor Ivy Taylor and Councilman Roberto Torvino and Ron Nuremberg seeking last-minute changes to give greater protection for historic districts and neighborhood conservation districts from encroaching development. Por Vida, the six-year-old program that helps people find healthy choices when dining out, is hitting the road. It has certified healthy meal choices at restaurants across San Antonio, including the cafeterias of some college campuses. Por Vida is now launching a new program that will let customers identify healthy food options at farmers markets and on food trucks. I've been involved in university dining um, halls before, but as far as working with a farmer's market and working with food trucks and these kind of mobile vendors, this is a new area for us that we're very excited to be able to kind of reach into and offer our services. The Center for Disease Control has advised pregnant women against traveling to the Wynwood District in Miami, Florida due to an upsurge in cases of Zika, the Zika virus. Closer to home, there have been eight confirmed Zika cases in San Antonio. According to the CDC, no cases have been locally acquired in Texas, and the main cause is travel. Get the latest on our Zika update page on Nowcast SA. Now, for a little help wanted ad. For the sixth year, we are updating our mobile-friendly map of back-to-school events, including free backpacks and school supplies, free and low-cost immunization shots, health fairs, and clinics. We need your help sharing the map with your friends and colleagues to help families in need get this information. We also need your help adding events to the map, so please let us know what we missed. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.